All right, coming up next, a featherweight matchup between Bruce Lee and Hanato Moicano. So as this confident young fighter makes his walk to the octagon, you can be sure his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because once I get him down, I know I can keep him there, potentially for the duration of the round, if not the fight. This guy's top game is scary good, and it's not just about getting you down, it's about using his weight to keep you there. Great hips as well. This fighter has outstanding footwork. He is amongst the best in the world at changing angles and always being in a position where he can land against his opponent, but he's out of range of his opponent's counterattacks. calls him the father of modern mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee, outstanding striker, very dynamic on the feet, so unpredictable, great combination of precision and timing. And Bruce Lee was quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. Bruce Lee is nothing if not adaptable, perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. This guy can keep a pace inside the octagon that is literally a shocking thing to behold. His opponent is in deep trouble if he comes into this fight out of shape. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Three years apart, with some differences in height, but the same reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment USC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the USC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 11 wins, one loss, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Brasilia Distrito Federal Brasil, Renato Moicano Canelo! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red ball. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. And we're underway here at the Mecca, Madison Square Garden in New York City. Lee gets tagged by the kick there. He couldn't like that too much, Joe. Just misses with the straight right. Good defense there. Lee gets stunned there by that stiff jab. Oh, nice hook. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Just misses there with the left. He's doing a really good job of timing these shots. Boycano gets the single leg takedown. Beautiful sweep. Into full guard. Lee gets back up. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got 
lot of shore up the defense here. He's doing a great job of blocking things here. Nice punch by the way. Back and forth we go here. Boycano gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Even when you block those, they'll still stun you. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, great combination. Snaps off the jab effectively there. Good job of timing this combination of strikes here. Mercado's lower jaw now, Joe, started to show some signs of swelling. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. And he completes a single leg takedown. Perfectly timed sweep. Full back mount here. Oh, this is nasty. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Boycano gets caught with that punch. Good control, postures up. Under a minute now to go. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Postures up. Beautiful elbow. 15 seconds remain in the round. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Moikai. Uh, round two straight ahead. Set up those takedowns with your strike. Here's a nasty ground and pound strike. And here is another ground and pound strike. And here's another powerful ground and pound strike. We saw some excellent ground and pound in that round. The beautiful Brittany Palmer with us. Round two underway. Nice punch there by Moikano. Beautiful right leg kick there. Lands to the body there. Hook to the head there by Moikano. Wow! This could be it right here. Oh, he might nice. be out. Big punch from the bottom. Oh, oh man, that is rough. He's posturing up here. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Back to full mount again. Oh, that's a good right hand. Ooh, Ooh. big elbow. He postures into place. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he snaps off the jab yet again. Beautiful use of the jab, really. Start to finish tonight. Did it in the previous round and picking up right where he left off here. He hip escapes from the full mount. He's back to full mount again. Moicano's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh, he messed up and gave up his back. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Two minutes now to go in round two. able to work his way back to his feet. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, uptaking the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. And now they clinch up. 
Back to the feet now. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent. Wow! Oh! He threw an incredibly large volume of strikes, but this last one was the big one that landed for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster...